Got some wetsuits to repair today. I think it's fairly simple. It just, you know, takes a little bit of time. So as long as you're, you know, careful with what you're doing, you should have semi-decent professional looking repair when you're all said and done. So I got two suits today. I got this one that has a huge gash across the like windproof paneling. To repair this, you'll just need, you know, you'll need a patch kit, neoprene cement, freaking iron. You'll need some kind of like clamp to hold the material. I have close close pins. The second repair I got is a small repair right here on the knee, but given that it's kind of at this like high place of stress, we'll also try to sew it closed. And to sew it closed, you, you want a, a needle and like nylon thread. You don't want to use a cotton thread because that will just deteriorate. So you can use nylon or uh, like most dental floss is made out of nylon. nylon. So you can use that as well. All right, so even though this guy looks pretty small, and you know, maybe even a pat even the patch will probably be enough to give it strength. I do want to reinforce this. I think I'm going to glue it, then sew it, then put a patch on. So I just want to clean up this, you know, this one edge is kind of has a lot of uh fraying going on. So I just want to clean that up. We're gonna take these clothes pins. Prop this open. And then just try to get it on the edges. So we'll wait for this to get tacky before we try to smash it together. All right, tacky to the touch. So take this off, take this off. together all right so we're gonna hold this firm for you know however long my freaking patience lasts as you can see it's working a little bit all right now that we got this somewhat stuck together I want to reinforce it with needle and thread, nylon thread, but in my case, nylon dental floss. All right, so we've got a pretty big knot right there. Go ahead and trim this. Uh... And so when I'm threading this, I'm not necessarily trying to go all the way through to the other side. I mean, if you do, it's all right because we're also gonna put a patch back there. All right. Once you get to the end, go ahead and try to knot up your uh, thread. So once you get it in a knot, just go ahead and cut the, the XS away. You ain't gonna win any awards with that, but you know, it's reinforced somewhat flat to take some, you know, pulling on. I do want to just put a dab of the cement right on where the knots are just to kind of solidify those. And then we'll just let that dry. So this, so this right here is going to be the glue. This is the, um, you know, the side that you put the iron on. You'll, uh, you know, read the directions if you want. This is just paper to like stop this stuff from burning. You can use this or the parchment paper. One thing I like to do with the patches is. One, cut them in circles, and then two, make sure it's big enough that it, you know, it, it gets the whole area that's been damaged. And you can see that this suit right here takes a lot of wear all the way up to the knee. So I'm gonna cut this patch out big enough to cover this on the inside. 
is it necessary? You know, who knows? But as long as I can get some extra life out of this suit, I'll be I'll be happy. So you just want to make sure that your patch has enough uh, overlap. So I'm gonna probably go about it, uh, you know, three quarters to an inch past the the stitch mark over there, and past the stitch mark over here. So I'm gonna cut it about this big. I like to round out the corners, and I do that mainly because I feel like the you know any kind of like right angle that you have is just a place where eventually it will like snag or start to peel up. So kind of the rounded corners kind of um, help alleviate some of those stresses there. All right, you can see this is where we did the, this is the inside of where we did the repair. It's looking pretty good. Here goes my patch. You wanna make sure that your iron is on its lowest setting, like mine has a nylon setting. So that's where I'm gonna do it at. This is parchment paper to so, you know, stop my other shit from burning. Also, uh, you don't want any steam while doing this. I do feel like our patch is not um, adhered right here on this on this uh, on this seam. So I'm gonna put the iron on it again and get that to stick. If you're having trouble with your patch is not sticky, it could be that your iron is not hot. So you could probably just bump it up just a little bit, but you wanna be careful not to go too much or else you'll burn your suit. It looks like it's on there. Looks like all the edges are down, the middle's down. I mean, like, as you can see, we got like full flex now. Look at the other side. This is what it looks like. You know, my stitch, stitch job's not the prettiest, but you know, you don't got a hole over the knee anymore. And you got some reinforcement up here, so you should be good to go. For this repair, there's like two angles that need to repair. So instead of doing it in like one go, we'll break it down and do two sections. So we'll do this seam here, and then we'll come back and do this just because uh, it's easier to manage. We'll also want to take a look on the inside and see what's going on. The fabric didn't te tear all the way through, so we'll try to keep this as is and just like smush it back together. I think I'm gonna do from here to here first, just cause it looks easiest. All right, so here's the neoprene cement. You don't wanna fill in the gash. You just kinda wanna only put the glue where the like thick rubber part is. Also known as freaking neoprene. Then you do the other side. All right, so now that the glue is in there, we'll wait a few minutes for it to uh, get a little tacky, and that way it's easier for us to, you know, manipulate the two ends of the fabric. So you just give it a little touch. If it doesn't stick to your finger, you're probably at a good point to, to work with it. And then, oh, I like to just take my two fingers, or just take the two ends and just push them, push them together. You know, if you can, try to make sure that the two pieces of fabric are, you know, even, like on the same level. Sometimes it's easier than others. Now you just wait for it to dry. As you can see, once you get the glue in there and it dries, it dries pretty good. I'm gonna continue from this side. Ideally, you want to do this in one shot, but since it was on two different angles, I didn't think I could uh, smash them things together without uh, getting glue all over the place. Again, you just want to put glue right here on the edge of the neoprene. All 
All right, somewhat dry to the touch. I'm definitely having a hard time keeping uh, the fabric together right here. So it's very likely that I have to do this uh, step one more time, which is fine, I guess. But once this dries more, I'll have to, you know, pinch it open and I'll probably have to apply glue, more glue uh, right here and uh, continue to work on trying to fill in this bend right here. Again, one of the, uh, the most challenging parts about this is going to be, one, trying to pinch it together at the same, and keeping it at the same level. And then two, it's just really hard to get uh, like good traction to actually pinch the two floppy fabrics together. So like I thought, the glue didn't get all the way in there. So we're back at it for a third time. All right, I think this might work. We just gotta hold it probably for like 10 minutes. Holding these pieces together is a real pain, by the way. All right, so here's the back panel after the third glue up. I don't know if you can see that, but we're looking pretty good. So now we can move on to gluing the patch. We've got about an inch of overlap over there. And if I cut it at this. All right, so I think I want the patch to go like this. All right, so here's our repair from this side. Um, let's just try to get this. Let's just try to stuff that excess material somewhere. Probably not doing anything, but whatever. This tear kind of went across and up the seam. So I got about a... Got about an inch overlap over this way. A lot of protection on that seam right there. All right, so I don't know if you can see that, but right here, the glue, I can see that the glue's not adhering. You can see also right here, it still hasn't adhered. All right, you see the glue's not sticking there as well. So let's try this again. For the 20th time. It's cooled down that so you can tell the patch has adhered to the wetsuit because you know you're not getting any induced wrinkles when you uh, pull on it. Also, you can see like these this tape seam uh, really well. It's like re really well defined. That's how you know you got some good stickage. Um, yeah, so this suit. Should be good to go. Let's take a look at the other side again. And here's the repair. Looks pretty decent for $30 worth of repair stuff. Whenever possible, I would always uh, glue and patch. And if you're at a high stress point, if you're repairing something at a high stress point, um, find a way to stitch it. I wouldn't go heavy in the usage of the new neoprene cement or Aquasil because when it hard, when it dries, it gets really hard. And so if you get any of that on the inside of your suit, you, you're gonna run into a lot of um, like abrasion, abrasion issues. That's also why I prefer to patch on the inside. I do think that the patches 
probably stick easier to the outside of it, but I really don't like the way it looks. And you know, when you get your, when you get repairs done by the manufacturers, a lot of time the patches are on the inside of those suits as well. It took me about two hours to repair those suits. Um, hopefully you guys learned something. Um, you know, please, if you got any other tips or ideas on how you do it, please, please uh, leave those in the comments for others to read. Um, if you got any questions, you can leave those in the comments as well, or give us a ring over here at Rider Shack or, or send us an email. We'll be more than happy to get those questions answered for you.